Happy holidays, everybody, and welcome to this very special edition of the Morning Splash. We all know you're going to be having fun this break, right, Erica? Yes. What are you going to do, Brittany? None of your business. Well, fine, because I know what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be enjoying everything, and I'm going to be having fun. JC and Brian have prepared a little video about wasp visitation next spring. This is very important to our school, and a lot of your teachers and administrators have been working especially hard on this. Let's take a look at this next clip that shows a little bit more about wasp. Hi, I'm Katie Whitmer. You may have seen me in your English class or working on the newspaper. You may be wondering what wasp is. Well, I'm here to tell you, WASC, or the Western Association of Schools and Colleges, will be visiting Dana Hills this March to accredit our school. Accreditation was originally designed to encourage the standardization of secondary schools and to ensure academic excellence. While you're sleeping in on Monday mornings, teachers, parents, and select students meet at school to work on the WASC report. There are eight department groups that correspond to each curricular department. Each department group is divided up into individual focus groups that cover a specific part of the WASC report. The WASC report consists of five chapters with specific details to be addressed in each. The report includes information about student demographics, student performance, which is test scores, curriculum, which is what you're taught, instruction, which is how you're taught, and pretty much anything else involving Dana Hills. The completed report must be completed and submitted by the first week of February. Hi, I'm Jared, and today I'm going to be quizzing students on their WASC-related knowledge. Hi, I'm Jared. What's your name? Uh, Brandon. Okay. What is WASC and how does it affect you? Um, it's some sort of like standards, kind of like the distinguished school thing and the people that are coming in March. And it affects us because we have late starts on Monday, so the teachers can have meetings. What's your name? I'm Shada Hashemi. Okay. Shada, what is a standard? Um, a requirement that a teacher is supposed to make to teach her students. Correct, Amundo. <laughs> Mr. Townsend's class, what stand? Who knows what standard you're on right now? <laughs> Anybody? It's California State Standard. Do you know what state standard you're on? Andrew Coper, what standard are we on right now? Standard SWBAT. <laughs> Could you recite the standard for me? Please, SWBAT is determine the molar mass of a molecule from its chemical formula and convert the mass of molecular substances to moles and molecules slash number of particles. Good job. WASC is the Western Association of Schools and Colleges. And it keeps me pretty busy as it keeps a lot of the staff here at Dane Hills High School and hopefully a lot of the students that are involved. Uh, it affects us in that it determines what our accreditation is. And we can only operate as a school if we are accredited and it's in our best interest, students and faculty, to, to have a high accreditation because it's a measure of the currency of our school. If we do well, then it means we're a, a high performing school and colleges and employers will look at that more favorably than if we're a poor performing school. Okay, thank you. And what are Esslers? Esslers are expected school-wide learning results and Danny Hills has adopted four and hopefully that every day in your learning uh, things activities are happening in your classroom that will address those Esslers and, and make you for example a big one we emphasize in in science is problem solvers. You'll be able to solve not only mathematical problems, but just problems involving critical thinking. The school-wide action plan is a document that tells how we are going to go about uh, edu educating our students. And it t we set our goals and we list the action steps that we're going to uh, pursue. And it, it, it says that by this date, we are going to improve by this amount. And we use that as a benchmark to see how well we're doing. And finally, how does the culture of the school affect you? Well, I've been here for 33 years, so obviously I must like the culture of the school. And the culture of the school is, is the whole atmosphere of, of how welcome I feel or how welcome students feel and how well we get along and how we can support one another to 
uh, to accomplish our mission, which is for students to get the best possible education uh, here at this institution. Thank you, Mr. Cunningham. Bye. Let me tell you something. People shouldn't be ungrateful for what they have. After all, it is the holidays, the time to give, time to be thankful, and time to be happy with your family and loved ones. Well put. You sounded like me right there. I love it. Love it. <laughs> well, let's take a look at something that basically relates to what we just said. make me clean the pool once every year. I don't want a computer for Christmas. I lost my sidekick. My counter strike's broken. I wanted a pink iPod, but I got a blue one. Oh my god, I have to grade so many papers over Christmas break. Uh, my prom date's a huge dork. My mom bought me a brand new Jeep and I hate it. And I hate her. Deal with it! So there you have it, Dana Hills. It's the time to shine and be merry. It's the most wonderful time of the year. And don't forget to cherish the time you have with your family and your loved ones. You'll never know when time just will slowly disappear. Don't take your time for granted. You want to do that again? Why? Because you kind of stuttered.